Hello everybody, welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Chris. Tonight's video is about fragrances I love to wear for the fall. Many of these fragrances I haven't talked about yet in prior videos. Some of them I have mentioned before. I have some that are really inexpensive and some that are very high-end niche fragrances. So I think that I have something for everybody in this video. So if you're interested to see what my starting fall lineup is, please keep watching. The first fragrance I'm going to show is a fragrance that I have worn the longest. I think I've had this for about 10 years. It was one of my first niche fragrances and it just screams fall to me. This is Fall in a Bottle. It is by La Raison Parfumeuse and it's called Premier Figure. This is the extreme version. The extreme version is supposed to have a little bit more coconut or coconut milk in it and this is what I call the kitchen sink fig fragrance because it has all parts of the the fig tree it has the fig leaves it has the fig twigs the bark the stems and of course the fruit so it's a very very woody fragrance i think there's sandalwood in here there's almond or almond milk in here there's coconut milk in here so it's a very it's a very creamy fragrance but in the dry down i get a it's a little bit soapy and i don't know what that is it's probably all those uh, notes coming together make it nice and just a little bit clean, a little bit soapy. This is not a super heavy fragrance. You have a little small scent bubble and it lasts a good half day, but I just there's something about it that has just fallen a bottle for me and that's why I always wear this one. The next fragrance I have talked about in a couple recent videos, even though it is a new pickup for me, but it just is a perfect fall weather fragrance. It's a cold weather, snuggly, uh, warm fragrance, and it is by Henry Rose. As you know, I'm a big fan of the Henry Rose house, and it is called Dark is Night. The reason why I think this is really good for the fall because this is a, it's a patchouli base fragrance. It is a patchouli vanilla fragrance. The patchouli in here is spicy, but it's not dark and dirty, and it's kind of fresh in the opening. It's a little green. I think there's um, vetiver and a, maybe something floral maybe neroli, um, but yeah, it opens up fresh and green and then it goes into this nice spicy patchouli and it dries down into a gorgeous vanilla patchouli that I love and everybody around me loves when I wear it. This one is pretty strong out of the house. I think this is the strongest one of the bunch and I have been loving it and I've been posting it um, on Instagram because I've been wearing it a ton. I think it's perfect for the fall, so dark is night. The next up is a fragrance by the house of Elizabeth and James, and I have come to enjoy several from this line, but my favorite is Nirvana Bourbon. And this is a great one for fall because it is a dark, woody vanilla with a boozy tobacco vibe. Now, I don't think that tobacco is listed, but in the dry down, I certainly get something that is tobacco-y or has a tobacco vibe, and it's probably the oak that's listed in here. And it has notes, it has floral notes. I think there has tuberose in here, but I do not get the tuberose. It is, it is a gorgeous, warm, woody, sweet, slightly boozy vanilla that is a perfect cozy scent. And I will wear this when I'm wearing like a leather jacket and a sweater, just gorgeous. So yeah, Navrana Bourbon. The next one up I haven't talked about before because it is a new full bottle for me. Even though I've had the Discovery set from this house since last December, I finally decided to purchase one of the full bottles and I know at least one or two full bottles will be in my future from this house. I already have the, what I think is a unicorn fragrance for this house, Batsheba, that I haven't shown in a video yet. I will do at some point in the future. But this one that I want to talk about is a fragrance that me and the mister have been kind of fighting for over the past couple weeks. We both really like this, and this will be in my shared video that'll be next week for men. Um, but it is called Falling Trees by Regime de Fleurs. I love this fragrance. It's not for everybody. 
This is really kind of for people who love the outdoors and love how the outdoors smells. And I'm a big outdoors lover and I'm outdoors constantly. So this fragrance really speaks to me. It is a woody, incense -y fragrance with a touch of smokiness. And that's how I'll describe it. There's definitely a strong note of frankincense. If you don't like frankincense, you might want to steer clear of this. There's pine, there's frankincense. There is something that is giving it a smokiness. It's probably the cypriol oil, um, but it just adds this nice woody smokiness. There is some sort of resin. I believe it's benzoin, but this is not a sweet fragrance. This is really an earthy, woody, dry, incense-y, smoky fragrance. Um, it is, with all those kind of strong, loud notes, it is a quiet fragrance. It is not a projector, but it does last all day, but it's very, very quiet. So if you like your big, bold fragrances, this probably won't be your cup of tea. If you love fragrances that smell like nature and the outdoors, this would be worth getting a sample of. I mean, this is a total love and it was my scent of the day today, Falling Trees. Next fragrance up is a total love for me. I've been wearing this for two or three years at least. And it is an amber-based fragrance. It's by the House of Boucheron and this is called Ombre de Alexandra. This was the first fragrance I purchased in this particular line. I think I have four. And I've had this for about two or three years and it used to be a hidden gem. I think it got a little bit of traction at the end of last year. It got recognition that it deserves because in my opinion, this is a gorgeous fragrance and anytime I do a sample swap with somebody, this is one of the first ones I include because I love it so much. So it's an amber fragrance, but the way the notes are combined, I get a kind of a thick, boozy apple pie. That's what it smells like to me. It is very similar to the Hermes Amber Ambre Nargule, which I did have, oh, maybe eight years ago. That I got that as a, as a Christmas gift, and I thought, I think they're very, very similar. It's also similar to um, Parfum de Marly Ojean because I had a little decant of that given to me, but it is a gorgeous fragrance. I absolutely love it. And there is just something so comforting about these fragrances, these ambery fragrances that kind of smell like an apple pie. And this is definitely my favorite, or certainly one of my favorites. So, yep. Next fragrance up is something that I love to wear when the weather is just not wonderful. When it's cold and rainy and drizzly and overcasty, I always reach for this fragrance and make myself a cup of chai tea and I feel a zillion times better. I usually kind of get under a blanket, park myself next to the fireplace or a space heater and watch Netflix for three hours and just, just feel a whole lot better. And it's by the house of BDK and it is called Gris Charnel. This is just a spicy, creamy, cozy scent. It has fig, sandalwood, black tea and uh, cardamom. And it's just, it's just a perfect fragrance for those cold, icky weather days that I love to pull for. And um, I have been doing it for the past couple years. So, yep, that's my next pick, Gris Charnel. The next fragrance is one of my favorite fragrances right now. I am loving this fragrance. It's new to my collection this year, and it's just the definition of intoxicating. I cannot get enough of this fragrance. And it is called uh, Honey Oud, or Aoud by Montel. I, oh my gosh, I love this fragrance. This is just, oh, I wore this the other day and I just was smelling my wrist all day and made even made a little decant so I could kind of spritz and freshen up and just get more of that yumminess. This is a yummy, sweet, spicy, woody, ambery vanilla. And honey doesn't always work for me in fragrances. In fact, one of my least favorite fragrances that I have ever smelled in my life had a prominent note of honey. So I've kind of shied away from honey for a while, but this honey is just perfect. It's not animalic, it's sweet. There's a lot of cinnamon in here. I pick up a lot of cinnamon. The oud in here, it's more woody than oudy. 
the oud is very, very mild. It's a baby oud. Um, there is, again, there's amber in here. There's vanilla in here. It's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet because there is a note of salt that kind of keeps it from being cloying. And it's just so warm and yummy and cozy. And I've already worn this twice this week and I posted it to Instagram. I'm just loving this fragrance. And I'm not someone that likes all types of oud and this one is just gorgeous. Love it. Next one up is something that if you've been following me for a while, you have seen this in other videos and know I love this fragrance. This is just something that I want to smell like. It is by Yves Saint Laurent and it is by Kaftan, another, to me, intoxicating fragrance. This is very smoky, it's ambery, it's incensey, it's resinous. There is a touch of sweetness in here. It has a citrusy opening. I believe it's a tangerine. There's a little bit of pink pepper. There's definitely resins in here. Benzoin, I think there's a note of Styrax in here. There is um, frankincense is in here. It's very incensey, but the frankincense in here, unlike falling trees, is not overly prominent. And I believe there is musk and labdanum in the dry down. The labdanum is not super strong in this, so it's just kind of in the background. Gorgeous. For all those notes, you would think this would be a super strong, loud fragrance. It is not. It has pretty good projection, decent longevity, but it's not an overly strong fragrance. Gorgeous. One of my favorites, Kaftan. The next one up is something that, you know, people talk about all the time, but of course I was going to include it in my list because I love to wear this fragrance for the fall. Probably my favorite time to wear the fragrance. Another Montal Beauty, and this one is the famous Intense Cafe. This is a sweet, vanillic, jammy rose with a touch of coffee and a smidgen of oud, and that's how I like to describe it. This is one of the strongest fragrances I own. It's like three sprays will get you a solid eight hours. It is definitely a gourmand fragrance, and even though it works all year round, in my opinion, fall is just such, the fall and the winter to me are just when this shines, when I love to wear this because it's so cozy and yummy. So yes, Intense Cafe. This next one I absolutely love. This is a vanilla, this is an ambery vanilla that has a lot of character and it's somewhat complex, but it's just something that I find, again, incredibly intoxicating. I love it. I've mentioned it before and posted it on Instagram for a reason because it's just such a great fragrance. And this is called Divine Vani by Essential Parfums. This one has all sorts of stuff going on. It has spices in the beginning, definitely cinnamon and a little bit of clove. It's, it's incensey, but not overly incensey. It's a little bit woody. It's a touch smoky, but it's very ambery. And again, this has an amber accord that the way the notes are combined also has this kind of tobacco, not tobacco, um, apple pie vibe. I just get this sweet, tobacco-y apple pie thing going on. Oh, gorgeous. It's, I would say it's moderate on the wear and decent on the longevity. Another one I get about five, six hours on has a really nice scent bubble and one of the niche houses that you can get a big 3.4 ounce bottle and it's about $75. Love this house. Love this fragrance. This next one is a new release from this year. It came out in May 2021, and I got a sample sent to me fairly quickly by my good friend Susan, and the sample kind of sat in the box on my bedstand for a good two months. I just didn't think I would like it, but I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to smell it, but there was just something about the name that I thought, I don't think I'm going to like it. Even though I love the house Van Cleef and Our Pals, it is called Orchid leather. Boy, talk about one of the biggest surprises of this year because 
Leather isn't always a safe um, accord for me. I like leather, but I don't like all leather. Sometimes they can be a little bit too heavy, but this is a vanilla fragrance. And so the leather, I think the way it's, the way it's uh, named is a little bit misleading. This is a vanilla fragrance. This is a sweet, rich, spicy, ambery, incensey vanilla. The spices in here are, um, there's cardamom in here. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Um, there is a note of plum, but the plum, I have some plum based fragrances that are very sweet and fresh and kind of crisp. The plum in here to me is more desiccated. It's more like a dried plum. It's like a prune and this prune has been kind of rolled around in sugar. So it's a, it's a prune with sugar, with vanilla, with spices, with amber, incense. There is a note of labdanum, labdanum. I always have a hard time saying that, labdanum. And that's kind of what I, where I think this gets, it's uh, this leathery accord or this leathery scent, but it's still sweet and a little bit spicy. Oh man, this is good. And when I wear this, everybody, that smells me thinks I smell amazing. And everybody that I've tested on think that this is gorgeous. This was a big surprise hit and a great fragrance to wear for the fall. Oh my gosh, this is just embodies, you know, something that you want to wear when it's cold outside. Next one up is a gorgeous tobacco fragrance for the fall. And it is by Inesia Parfums. I've talked about it a couple times and it's called Side Effect. This is just a gorgeous fragrance that I know both men and women love, and this will definitely be in my men's fall fragrances that I'll be doing next week. This is just a gorgeous, dry, smoky, heavy tobacco fragrance that's very, at least on me, I get a very dry, smoky tobacco. It's smoky almost to the point of being like campfire smoky doesn't quite get there, but it's heading in that direction. It's verging on campfire. And then like magic, like at about the four hour mark, it just turns. It does this. I've tested it like five times. Every time it does the same thing. It becomes kind of a, the, the tobacco-y, the smoky tobacco kind of fades and it becomes a sweet cinnamony vanilla. I know there's a note of rum. I don't get a ton of that. It's not super boozy on me. It's more just like a cinnamon, Vanilla, a woody cinnamon vanilla, gorgeous. This one is not the powerhouse that Atomic Rose is. Atomic Rose two sprays, I'm good all day. This one I can go, you know, I'm like five or six sprays and I will get at least through the, uh, the half day, but gorgeous for fall, love it, side effect. Even though I'm going to do a separate gourmand video for the cold weather, I could not help but to include this in the list because I love to wear this in the fall. It is a it is a gorgeous designer vanilla that just is intoxicating to me. And it is La Nuit Trésor à la Filet. This one, I just love it. This has pink pepper, there's pear, rose, um, red currant, and vanilla. And the rose is definitely supporting role. This is just, the rose is not very dominant. It's it's more about the, the sweeter aspects, the vanilla, the pear, a little bit of red currant. Just to make it easy, this smells like a red currant and pear cupcake. That's what I get out of this fragrance. It just screams fall to me. And whenever I'm planning on doing some baking, this is the one that I like to wear. It's just a gorgeous, yummy vanilla fragrance for the fall. This next one, even though it's new to my collection, it is not new to me. I got it as a sample uh, when I bought my first Pierre Guillaume fragrance early in 2020. I just fell in love with it right away and then ordered another sample. I thought I was just going to live on the samples and that would be it, but no, I just, I couldn't. I really wanted a full bottle of this. It is called Indochine and it is number 25. 
This is another gourmand, but it's just, I had to include it because I have just been loving this recently. Um, this is a, a benzoin centered fragrance and it smells like some sort of dessert. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's very desserty, but I can't think of a dessert that smells exactly like this. There is a sweetness that's in between kind of like maple syrup and honey and caramel. There, there's just that sweetness is there. It has some spices, maybe pepper, that keep it um, from being too sweet, but the sweeter notes keep this from kind of heading into the spice rack direction. So they kind of balance each other out really well. On the dry down, there is a definite creamy wood. I would think it's sandalwood, but I don't think it's some sort of special wood, but it smells like sandalwood to me. Um, gorgeous. This is a quiet fragrance. It is very, very soft, but surprisingly, it does last pretty long. It lasts almost all day. It dries down into a really nice kind of sweet vanilla. So a gorgeous, um, you know, resinous, vanillic with a little bit of spices, desserty type of fragrance. This is certainly not blind by, you can't blind by this because I think either you're going to love it or not find it very appealing, but I love it and fall is the perfect time for this one. And the final one is very new to my collection. I just picked this up this week. I just stumbled across it when I was at the mall and I walked by the store Free People. They had this really cute sweater in the window and so I just kind of wandered in and then I eventually made my way over to the fragrance and candles and I found this one and they had a little sampler spray and I sprayed it and I thought gosh this is great this is perfect for fall it's really neat and I think it's called I left the box upstairs but I think it's called Lodge and it's by their line I think it's 1809 and this one is the Lodge one um, this is, uh, I've been trying a lot of all natural fragrances, clean and all natural fragrances because I have really sensitive skin and have been testing a lot of those. This is actually, um, this is also, you know, cruelty free, it's vegan, vegan, it's allergy tested and, um, the notes, I'll put the notes up, but this one basically smells like, I'll make it real simple. This smells like a clove pound cake. So it's very much of a gourmand fragrance. It's sweet, but the clove keeps it from being kind of overwhelmingly cloying. Although if you're not, if you don't have a really big sweet tooth, you might not like this. And for such a small uh, fragrance, it actually has pretty good lasting power. I'm thinking about getting a backup because um, this one's not, I think it's 10 or 15 ml bottle, but yeah, uh, just kind of a nice little hidden surprise, which I think will work great for the fall Lodge 1809. So that does it for my fall starting lineup. I will do a separate video for my fall winter gourmands. And in a few days, I was asked to do a fall fragrance for men's list. So I'll be doing that in a couple days. Um, as usual, I would love to hear what you're wearing for the fall. Uh, thank you again for sticking around. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for everybody who supports me and I will see you on the next one.